Hey everybody, it's Dimmer here. In today's video, we're gonna play on the Slayer Fighter. So pretty much before we get to the video, I want to remind you only 4.7% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't. If you can consider to press subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. But only if you enjoy Barbarian, which I'm as a main class, and Fighter and Rogue content. This is the type of the content that I'm going to produce in the future. I've been having a blast playing on the Slayer Fighter and pretty much I want to share this broken build with you, my friend. So pretty much, this is what we're gonna have for today's video. We're gonna have the combination of a Warhammer, which offers you 20% armor penetration, and also we're gonna use the Stiletto Dagger, which recently got buffed and now it offers you 10% armor. On top of that, we're gonna have additional 3.4 armor penetration, and the rest doesn't do jock shit, but that's okay, I'm gonna mention that anyway. Plus 1 magic power, plus 2.4 memory capacity, which is going to increase our magical power by 1, and which will increase our memory capacity by 2.4%. Sorry. <laughs> well, anyway, basically, the whole build that I'm gonna play is just going to be um, um, health. Pretty much I decided to stack up a little bit of physical power and a little bit of health. I threw additional move speed on my last turn shoe, and pretty much that's about it. Even with the budget kit, you can put a hella decent chunk of health. All you need to do is just to hit around 5, maybe 10% action speed. And if you throw the dual wielding with the Slayer, the this combination of weapons is gonna, you know, get real freaking strong. Um, pretty much the reason why I try, I tend to play with the Warhammer and Stiletto is mainly due to the fact that both of these weapons offer armor penetration and. Um, I have a strong feeling that um, it's probably going to be pretty damn good, especially if we're going to come across the PDR fighter. I really hope we're going to come across one that will be actually pretty sick. So, yeah, there's one thing that I want to mention. The Windlass. The Windlass baby is OP. Not only it's cheap, cheap as hell. Right now in the market, it only goes for like 60 gold if I got it right. Let's check the epic quality. 75 gold is absolutely freaking nothing. And if you pay... 75 gold, you're gonna get the windlass that will shot for 60 damage with 40 armor pen. Oh god, oh lord, have mercy, that is too much. But anyway, we're gonna have two of those. I'm not gonna play with survival bow, even though you could experiment and you can use the combination of a windlass and survival bow. But what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna play with a double windlass crossbow. My basic strat is going to be super duper simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we land one crossbow shot and then we're gonna push. Basically, that's the plan, that's the play, that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Once again, this is what my gear set looks like for anyone who is curious. I'm not gonna show you the buying process because you may notice one thing in particular. All the stats are random as heck, and that's due to the fact that I just started out more or less on the budget side, and then I slowly upgraded my stuff by killing players. So that is why the gear that I have is uh, kind of weird. Some of the pieces are good, some of them are not. By the way, I found a lot more good necklaces, like such as these, but uh, I was a little too lazy to change, and I ended up playing with the same stuff for the most part. But um, pretty much, yeah. Okay, before we get to the video, here is my thoughts. Right now, the fighter, the slave fighter, is actually in such a good state. Um, consider how much the sprint gives you additional move speed. Like, sprint is right now is really on a good side, I would say. And if you use the combination of armor penetration, you will be able to... Um, of weapons that will increase your armor penetration, you will be able to deal with PDR. The current menace of dungeon is the PDR, bills, and... Um, even though the Warlocks got nerfed, they are still ass tier. Not ass like butt chicks, but ass like uh, ass, you know, like the, the letter below V and right next to A. You know what I mean? <laughs> and still, the Warlock is really freaking strong. But the Cleric is literally a god Thanos tier class at the moment. Right now, even Bard sniffs balls compared to Cleric. Cleric is extremely overtuned. And the armor penetration could actually, this belt right here, could actually be quite handy, especially when it comes to fighting clerics. Anyway, anyway, uh, we're gonna hop in the game and we're gonna go and clap some chicks. I'm gonna wait out for goblin caves until they're gonna come out and we're gonna go into the game directly. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the dungeon. Alright, looks like we have someone here. Hmm. Can never know where's the rope is. The heck? 
He doesn't even know, brother. Pew. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, well. Oh, look what we have here. We have a cleric. Cleric. You guys aren't interested in fighting me. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. I do have another crossbow, though. Ow. Oopsies. It did hurt. It does hurt quite a bit. Oh, 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 oh. My time to shine. Oh, okay. That did hurt a little. Wait a second. Did he have my first hit on my second? Interesting. Okay. A little geared. A little armor. That's why he actually was able to tank that many hits. Gotta reload my bad boy. Actually, more like a big bitch, to be honest, because they think fucking slaps. Like, absolutely destroy people. Just gotta land those hits. Which takes some practice. I'm not that good with it yet, but I do wanna practice with it a little more, you know, to get the feeling off of it. I do enjoy though the windlass. I think it's kinda it's kinda good. Oh well, I wasn't able to find anyone else in this game. We're gonna go straight to the next one. Surprisingly, we actually got a quite a decent amount of cheese from this game alone. These couple of pieces is gonna be like probably around 2000 gold. While my whole kit is on the very budget side, I do believe like probably my whole kit is valued at like little under 2k. Maybe slightly, okay, maybe with the boots, maybe slightly more than 2k. But yeah, it's like overall, it's super budget. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Usually there's always gotta be someone in Trolls room, so we just gotta look. Wait a second. The mobs are aggroed here. There's no mobs here, someone was here. Someone was here for sure. This mob though is not dead, which is kind of surprised. We have a rope. Never fucking mind. I'm not sure what he's fucking doing there. This is the gear drop, by the way. It's a fucking very good drop. Ah. Trick shot didn't fucking work. I fucking suck dick. You need to be careful. Alright, let's pop a blue pot and let's reload my big... My, my gun. <laughs> let's call it this way. Ha. <laughs> that, but that's a lot of threat, though. The guy is very geared. If I kill him, that's pretty much the um, another gear set for me. Ah oh, man, should have expected him dodge to the right. So fucking bad is this game. Ah oh, bro, it's okay. I I'm not sure why he decided to jump down. What a stupid fucking idea! He just decided to give me the privilege of having a high ground. Basically, when you're just up above and you're not 100% paying attention, I would be able to get a jump eventually. Okay. I gotta wait for him to jump. Perfect. That was probably a body shot as well. Okay, I wanna get hit by a mob. He went into us. Doesn't matter. Okay. He, is, he got stopped a little. Roughly, I'm liking this. I'll just go fucking with him with the stiletto. Who's got a better... Who's got a bigger stiletto? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he didn't jump. <sighs> I'm so bad with stiletto. I'm sorry. I need to practice with this weapon. This is an acceptable performance for a guy who played this game for 3000 hours. Still did end up getting killed on him, and um, he's pretty much equivalent to what I have, but still doesn't change the fact that um, that was really good. I whiffed two hits, and I only landed sword, I believe. Which, well, it does a lot of damage, but uh, even Goblin ended up performing better than me. Holy fucking hell. No, this guy is way more gears than I am. Period. Straight up, I thought he was a joke, but doesn't change the fact that uh, I ultimately fucked up. Like, fucked up giga big time. Oh, hell yeah. He's super geared. Well, it is what it is. Sometimes it's gonna be like that. But uh, it doesn't change the fact that um, we gotta focus and try to um, get better at certain things. 
as I feel like I really underperformed there. All right. I heard someone behind the door, and um, I do need to be careful here. Then I end right for sure. If that's a warlock, well, the warlock ain't weak. Warlock ain't weak at all. I've seen three very geared warlocks in the lobby, so just fucking never know when you're gonna come across one of them. Oh yeah, that's the warlock. That's the warlock. Heard someone, but um, wasn't sure if that was the warlock. Usually, usually, the Slayer Fighter wins against Warlocks. The only thing though, the only catch, you gotta find that one moment where you're gonna land the good solid shot with the Windless Crossbow. The moment that's gonna happen, you win. As for the rest, you gotta search out for that opportunity. The moment you hit once with the Windless, pretty much at that point, you already win the fight. As for the rest, just spend as much time as you need. Okay. Okay, the fire is kind of burning me right here. You're probably gonna get away here. Ah, oh, shit. He would have fucking flopped straight up. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna heal up really quick. He's gonna suck on some balls to get his HP back. As for now, we're just gonna simply heal up. And probably we'll get an opportunity to get um, the windlasses back in order. I have to. Alright, gonna take a minute. Fuck it, let's reload. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I fucked up a little, but um, he thought I would clap him. Little did he know. Alright, so pretty much I'm gonna put really quick a windless crossbow right here. And then, and then we'll see what we can do. Need a little bit of move spin, so... Oh, shit. Okay. Very, very hard hit. Fuck it. We just need Stiletto. We need Stiletto to get close. He fucked up! He died. He died here. He died. That's it. He died. Holy hell, bro. It's like, the moment he started walking toward me while being phantomized, he insta-lost there. Like, straight up instantly lost. Right, fuck it, we gotta heal up. Sooner or better, you never know if we're gonna come across someone here. Ah oh, man. What the freak is this stuff, brother? Oh man. This mob is more of a threat than a fucking warlock himself. Holy hell! Oh. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, we have extract here, but I'm not gonna take it. I don't need to kill this mob really quick. Yeah, we have extract, but no, 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 no. It's gonna be either me or fucking him, period. There's no in between. Straight up. I'm not gonna let it fucking slide. I will fucking either kill him or will die trying, period. I don't think he knows how low. I am. He can literally punch me to death, probably. What? No, we have a fucking server maintenance. BS. Interesting. It is okay, though. It is fine. The guy isn't really much. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go and try fucking <laughs> loot the guy, so he's just giving me free time to reload my windlass crossbows. We'll see, we'll see. I wonder if he already opened the portals, and if he did, he probably would be able to sleep away. But question is, let me put those really quick on. Question is, will he be able to loot everything from the warlock or not? Oh, well, that's fucking... We we'll get to see that. We we'll get to see that for sure. Alright. My homie. I missed. I still have to put pressure. I gotta run at him. I gotta use the magic pod. This bitch costs 300 fucking gold, bro. Like, literally using one purple pod. Makes... Oh. Bitch! Oh, you're so good! Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill, chill the fuck down. No need to be aggressive. Oh, yeah, this boy is cheesy. This boy is cheesy. But probably he took the rings and... Uh... Ah, man. We only got a little under a minute, but uh, it's okay. Just a matter of time. Like, at the end of the day, all it's gonna take is him 
messing up a little. If I get close enough, was the windlass. Oh boy, brother. This is not gonna end well for him. So, oh shit. Let me see if I could reload this bitch. Nah. Oh, looks like he's opening the portals here. Question is if he's gonna try fight me or not. Nah. Hmm, okay, he's in my dick. Do we risk it? You know what you say? Let's pop a blue pod really quick. And let's run at him. Okay. <laughs> well, brother, you fuck around and you find out. Little to no time left, though. Okay, I guess this goes to gar garbage right away. Um, This is money right there. Action, armor, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, irrelevant. Oh, holy hell! I could be the one who actually fucked around! Oh, shit! I probably was like one second short from dying! God damn! Holy hell, bro! What the heck? Mm hmm? So we have someone here. Oh no no, it's right below, it's right below. Okay. Mm, there is one pretty geared rogue and there is one pretty geared warlock. There is also a very geared uh, cleric. Which one it is? I've noticed one thing in particular. The game almost always throw me with geared players. Okay. Oh, okay, that's the rogue. If I snipe him one time, all it would take is just one hit. Okay. I fucked up. Headshot. Sheesh. Wow. Did my shot go through something? He still had his shield on. Or was it not registered or did I miss? I feel like I didn't miss my shot for sure. I fucking slapped him. Wow, I almost died though. But it's just, it's mainly due to the fact that I underestimated my opponent very hard. But it, the guy is geared. True, true. Purple Raper. This guy, I definitely underestimated the guy. I didn't thought of him as much of a threat. This guy could have fucking easily killed me. Because I didn't want to fully commit. And because I didn't want to fully commit, that kind of fucking... Mess me up pretty hard. Hmm. All the mobs are dead, dead iron right. There's no bats. Okay, we have a bard here. See what the bard doing. I do believe that Slayer Fighter is a better bard, kinda. Maybe. <laughs> no, not really, not really. The bard is a better slayer. Oh, this guy is... Well... He's got a long road ahead of him, what can I say? No, no, he is a good player, but he just needs a little bite practice. He probably, like, uh, watched a guide or something and, uh, you know, he's trying to get better at it. Okay. He got a bunch of good pieces, by the way, which I'd like to take, to be honest. Bro, maybe one day I'll get something good out of the gold pile. Just gonna quickly take everything, I don't know, whatever. It's... Hmm. We gotta go check Cyclops. Maybe it was killed or something. No, no. Gotta check for sure, brother. Windless crossbow gonna stay here because it only costs like 80 gold. Who freaking need that? You know what I mean? Mm. Wanna quickly save up some space. Yeah, it's gonna S. Okay. Like, I'm curious. Why is the bard would you ever run anything, you know, not that good? Place if you the guy would have actually anything good or end up aim making something. But unfortunately the guy brought in some some mediocre stuff. Like really just go kill a bunch of trolls and cyclops. It's so easy and uh barred. But oh well it is what Oh holy hell holy hell let me check let me check what the fuck is this? Oh bro I wanna get that Pavis as well but I don't think I have time. Does the legendary Pavis even gives you anything at all? Like, isn't that like a completely useless piece? I'm not sure. 
Anyway, let's just get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. Oh, looks like uh, there's some cheese. Some probably looted this as well. Whoever killed the Cyclops seems like I took the um, quick extract in the middle of the map. So it wasn't really much of a hustle, just took the quick triple. I've seen a druid right behind the door, so at any time he'll try to invade me. Gotta be ready here. Oh, that's him, by the way. It was a lot faster. Jesus Christ. Okay, I miss. That is good. He... Them. This guy wants me to fucking sweat a little, you know, I gotta zone in. <laughs> Full control. Alright, well, anyway, we do need to heal up, though. My health's not gonna recover itself. I'm not a cleric or a druid. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Oh, man. This guy is being a bitch. Ideal. Ah. <laughs> I was actually a little excited. I wanted him to jump through the little hole here. Them. And you might not want to push me. They said. I'm down. You don't want to push? No, I don't want to push a fucking bear. The only way for me to kill him is to get him off guard. Not if he decides to transform her fucking into a bear. Look at him. Heavy boots. Padded fucking thing. Suck my. Holy fuck, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, brother, you fucked up. <laughs> well, poor rat. Let's see what he actually has. Okay. I'm gonna heal up first. You never know if we're gonna get third party here. Getting third party to fucking suck. And I've been getting third party quite a lot. I haven't died though in the um, Slayer just yet, but you never know when it's gonna happen. So, yeah. Alright, let's see what the red has. There wasn't a single geared player in the lobby other than the biggest guy, so... We're either gonna go farm troll, or we're just gonna go extract. Well, I mean, it's a little decent gear set, I would say, more or less. There is nothing too crazy. Maybe like two or three thousand. His gear set is slightly better than what I have. Because what I brought was just a very mid health kit. Just health. Okay. Oh, that's actually quite decent. And also, ha oh, this is just literally better than what I have, by the way. Um, don't want to use any of these upgrades. I could have thrown the, you know, like the um, windlass because it's only 70 gold, but um, it's kind of it. Oh, my friend says cracks, by the way. <laughs> Pretty much of trying to um, find anyone for the past five minutes, I decided to go and take extract. Because, um, what is there else to do? We might as well just take extract, call it a day. You know, little W, not gonna hurt. We probably made like 15 to 20k gold already. Holy hell, brother. This fine caress is gonna go fucking wild. I don't even know how much it's gonna go for. Maybe 10,000? Because there is not a single one on market alike. Sheesh. Yeah, even the best ones. Well, the best one, they do have stats. Mine has max health, armor, and PDR, which is really good. Anyway, and with this, the video gonna come to an end. Pretty much if I get to raid Slayer, I would put it somewhere slightly above Rogue. Even though Rogue is pretty good, the Rogue have a benefit of catching people off guard and the perk creep, while the Slayer has slightly better range and ability to catch up and run at 330 most of it for quite a while. The amount of health you can build on the Slayer without any effort is actually quite ridiculous, and also the class does a lot of damage. I like it.